We're out here doing fleet OD competency checkpoints where we're bringing the uh, waterfront ODs, first tour division officers, into the trainer uh, to a set scenario where it's light to medium traffic density and covers a lot of the things they would see as a qualified officer of the deck standing a watch. Well, there's a number of different objective assessments that are going on, and those are based on a rubric of rules of road knowledge, rules of road application, bridge resource management, team leadership on the bridge, as well as ship handling. So um, for the individual uh, junior officer going through the competency checkpoint, there is immediate feedback. Uh, he sits down with my senior assessor and goes through uh, his strengths and on weaknesses uh, that were demonstrated in the examination portion and also in the virtual reality simulation. Uh, the second type of feedback is there is immediate feedback that goes from my senior assessor directly to that ship's commanding officer. And then, you know, it's up to the CO to, to maybe do targeted training for some of the areas that might need improvement or maybe just confirmation that, that his, uh, his OOD is, is, uh, is meeting performance standards. Uh, and then the last piece is uh, there will be a formalization of the uh, data, all the trends that will go up to our type commander, Vice Admiral Brown, uh, for, for his, uh, his awareness. You know, I think you're going to see a lot of people just kind of be like, wow, you know, it's... Um it's perishable knowledge, it really is. Like, if you're not getting the real, real world experience and you're not doing it, and then you come to something like this after, you know, even like two or three months of not doing it, you really, it really makes you realize how much you, you're forgetting or how, how rusty you are essentially. This is really gonna give us that, that no kidding uh, baseline of, of how we're performing out there uh, as OODs. And it's important if you're, before you can really chart a, a direction that you're gonna go in, you gotta know where you're starting from. And, uh, and so I, this, is, this is critical to really continuing on with the other initiatives, really getting that snapshot, where are we at? Naturally, one would think that these assessments are punitive or uh, in an effort to thin the herd, and that's not at all what these assessments are. These, are assess these assessments are a collective embrace of uh, some of our challenges in the surface force that perhaps have been revealed over the course of, of this past year. Taking a hard look at those and, and figuring out a way where we can get at some of these uh, training shortfalls and collectively rise together.